All right, for real, one half of the Neptunes, great producer, great artist in general, one of the, you know, most uh, multifaceted artists that we have said he would he would snitch in a heartbeat, and then he got the feds on uh, speed dial. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell like, comment button, share the video. And he said that um he ain't a tough guy. You know, he don't live that life, so it's okay for him to snitch. And you know, when you got civilians and people that go nine to five, and somebody robbed them or breaking their house, or they witness something. It's okay for them to go ahead and report and say what they seen. I don't know if snitching the right word. You know, now if somebody see, it depends on how you look at it. If you're a nine to five guy, it's morally okay for you to snitch if somebody rob or do something to you or you witness something. Because if you witness or you a part of a murder or attempted murder, then you held in contempt. They can charge you with that murder. I had a, I had a boy, real talk, with the Alabama State. His name was Lee. And, um, and we lived on, what was it, the, I think it was, the, we stayed on the sixth or the sixth floor, I think it was. And uh, Lee was my dog. Lee was 100. We, Lee was from Tuskegee. And what happened was, on one weekend, because usually on weekends, if it ain't a big party or, you know, maybe uh, whatever, whatever they call it, when they cross over, when they cross over, uh, I forget what they call it, the Greek, the fraternities cross over, most people go back home. You know what I'm saying? They go back to wherever they're from. Some people go back to Atlanta. Some people allow you to, uh, you know, some some my root, some of the guys I was cool with, we go back to their crib. Their parents would be fine with it. We go back to Columbus or Atlanta or whatever the situation may be. One weekend, this nigga went back to, to, to Tuskegee, right? If you've ever been to Tuskegee, Tuskegee University is a beautiful university, one of the beautiful, beautiful HBCU. And um, Lee got into a situation where somebody told him to basically help get rid of a body that was that was basically killed. And basically, man, Lee had to go ahead and tell. So think about it. If Lee a snitch because is Lee a snitch because he because he told to keep his booty out of jail, keep his ass out of jail. Lee was a nine to five guy. And the only thing that got Lee out of that situation to be real in Alabama was because Lee was in school and Lee had a good grade point average. So the judge gave Lee the benefit of the doubt because he was in a higher learning and he had good grades. This dude was stressing out. This dude was stressing out about a month, month or two, maybe like a month, month and a half. And you know, we trying to tell the nigga it's gonna be all right. But then again, you know, it can go either way. He a brother with dreads and you know, is it morally wrong for Lee to snitch? Or if you want to call it snitching, hell no. They had a pistol to his head telling him get rid of the body. So when you're a regular civilian and you ain't in a dope gang, you ain't robbing, it ain't no snitching somebody rob or shoot your friend or shoot your kin. No, it's observing report. But the way but the way him and T-Pain put it, you know what I'm saying? So T-Pain was like, if I was a 6'9", I snitched so hard. But if you in the game, which T-Pain ain't in the game, ain't never claimed to be a gangster, never have for real. If you in the game... You know what you know what it come with. You already know what the game about. Flagrants and all. So I get why people, you know, a guy like for real. He ain't in that world. You know, and with that mentality, you couldn't be in that world. No way, Jose, you can be in that world with that mentality. No way. No way you could be in that world, in that world with that mentality. You know, but you know, a lot of people in the street who was it Felix Mitchell from Oakland, and they told him from the beginning, if you snitch, we're gonna kill you. He did his time. And that's what you gotta understand about the game. It, it sounds all gangster until they hit you with them years. And if you do be the fed case was a 97 and a half, 98 percent conviction rate, it ain't that high because. They do police work. It's that high because they tell on people. They get people to, to snitch. Or they get people to lie and say they got this and that from you. So, you know, I made that decision early on in my life that I didn't want to be a part of that. I have family members in and people that was like, you want to get down? Nah, I'm good. I, un I understood the ramifications 
the consequences that came. I was good. I, I didn't want to, you know, rob people. I didn't want to sell dope. I didn't want to be the cook. I didn't want to be the chef. You know, was I trying to talk people out of it? Absolutely not. Once you made your mind up, you made your mind. I had, I had friends when I went to public school, Detroit public schools, that toted the gun every day, that sold dope, that, that did all that shit. I had all them type of friends. But everybody come from a different background. Some people, they don't come from a house with, 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 with food and, you know, you know, some people come from different backgrounds. And as you get older, you got to learn the, the, the danger of that or, or, or to separate yourself from people like that. Because if you don't separate yourself, if you don't separate yourself from people like that, then you get drugged into that world. And not necessarily with just prison time, you become a target. You with them and they shoot you up. You see all these stories, man. So we're for real saying it don't really shock me that it's coming out of his mouth. You know, it don't shock me at all. Because he made up in his mind that he wasn't going to be a part of that work. And quite frankly, I get it. I made that point up a long time ago. And if you do go to jail, you better know how you write people. You better know how to fight. You better know how to survive. If you out here toting the pistol, shooting everybody, you got killers that did it with their bare hands. That's the dangerous thing about it. You go to jail and you don't know how to fight, or you don't know the right people. You got people that did it with that, that killers that can kill you with their bare hand. They don't need no gun. And for real, made that decision a long time ago. But if you make that decision to get in that game, you got to understand the rules. And six nine, he didn't understand the rules. He didn't understand the game. He didn't understand that. You know, he thought it was the fun of the game, but he wasn't in the streets. I'll tell you that right now. He wasn't in the streets. When you in the streets, you grew up in the street, you see it. Ain't no happy endings in that story. None. People are like, oh yeah, man, ain't no happy. And then now, you don't, you don't even make no money doing what they doing now. You probably make more money getting selling pills. So you really you thinking about it, man, it ain't no reason for you to be out here unless you're selling weight. And then a lot of stuff that they a lot of stuff that they bring on that they get here is stepped on. It's bullshit. You know, so now you got these dudes switching the hustle to meth. And meth come meth is damn near the crackhead equivalent of coke. Because white people will spend money on meth. And that that's who that's the it's tearing up that su suburban neighborhood. You know, black people, like, like when you're talking about meth, meth is like rich white people. That's what it, it's like rich white people, bro. That's meth. Not rich, but white people that got money. But, you know, it is what it is, man. But I made that decision long ago that I ain't want to live that life. But let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, car response, your video quest. All my social media links, description, fast forward, reach me is Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. Also got a Facebook group. Want to check that out. Want to make a financial donation? Cash App, CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate, share, share the video. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time we gone.